Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do to make your free 3D mock-up is we are going to go to CoverVault.com. And you will see all kinds of really cool templates. Um, you can even sort them along this side by the kind you want, by the size you want. So I'm going to go ahead and pick one. I'll pick this one. And then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and click Download Photoshop PSD. That is very important. So it's going to download. And once it's finished downloading, I need to extract that data. So let me see. Oh, nope, it's still downloading. Okay, so now that it's downloaded, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to hit extract all. And I want it to extract to the same folder. Now I've already done this before. I'm going to replace the files, um, but you will not get that notification the first time. Okay, so there it's all done. So now I'm going to go to photopia.com. This is free to use. You're going to go to file, open, and we're going to open the file that we just extracted. So here it is, and I'm going to select the PSD file. Perfect. So here is my book. And whenever you see these little eyes here, you can hide things that you don't like about the template by clicking on the little I. But that's not what we want to do. We want to go to book. We're gonna use our little drop down arrow, arrow and you'll notice that we have several options. I can get rid of the book shading. I don't want that, but I could if I, if I felt like it. Um, we have the book, the shadow, the cover, the spine. We're going to focus on the cover. So I'm gonna double click this layer and I'm going to hide the layer. This is what I want to see. I want this transparent background. So now I need to add my own book to this. So I need to go to File, Open, and then I need to select my own cover. Now that I have this, I need to get it to here. So these are like little tabs on the top. So I have it here. I need to get it here. So I'm going to go to Select All. That's very important. I'm going to go to edit, copy, and then I'm going to click back over to this layer where I want the cover and I'm going to hit paste. Now you'll notice that it doesn't fit. I need to make it fit. So I'm now going to hit edit, free transform, and I'm going to make my book fit. Perfect. So now if I click back here, there is still nothing there for me. So what I need to do is go to File, Save as Smart Object. It'll say Updated. And here is my book. Now for the spine over here, you'll notice my color matches, but I have this weird lettering here that I don't really want. So you could import a solid color here, but I'm going to try and put my actual spine in here. So I'm going to double click on the spine just like I did the cover. This is a 1.25 inch spine and the book is 6.9. So I know the height is nine inches. So I'm going to go into Canva and in the top right corner, I'm going to click create a design and then I'm going to click custom size. So I'm going to do one, 1.25. One Oops, first change it to inches. Don't do what I'm doing. There we go. 1.25 by 9. I'm going to hit create new design. Perfect. So like I said, you can just make this a solid color um, if that's a little easier for you. But I'm going to put in my spine. So in my uploads, I have this PDF file. I'm going to use that and I'm just going to stretch it to fit. Perfect. You can make it as big as you want. You might need to play around with your dimensions a little bit. There we go. Went 
too high on the top. Perfect. So now I'm going to download this as a PNG. And then I'm going to go back to Photopea. I'm going to, just like I did with the cover, I'm going to hide this layer so I have my nice transparent design. I'm going to open my spine I just created. And then I have to do exactly what I did with the cover. I need to select all, edit copy, and then click over to the spine. Then I'm going to paste, edit, free transform. And I'm going to make it fit. Then what you need to do is file, save a smart object, just like you did with the cover. So now if I take a look over here, ooh, hmm, this doesn't line up on the top here. And then I have a strip of color where I don't want it. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to free transform again. And I'm going to make this a little taller. And I'm going to make this all gray. And I think this will solve my problem. Get rid of this little color here. This is the fun part is just playing around with what happens. Okay, it's almost there. I just need to make it a little bit shorter. So edit, free transform. Save as smart object. Perfect. Look at that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. So I'm going to go to file, export as PNG. And then I'm going to hit save. And now I have this as my 3D mockup. The coolest part about this is I can actually save this as a file that I can use to create social media graphics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide everything. I'm going to keep hiding light partic particles, um, let's see, the shelf, the background. I'm going to keep clicking until I just have my book here. You can even hide the shadows if you want, but I want this background that is transparent. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to file export as PNG and then save. Now here's the cool part. If I go back into Canva and I click on... Let's see, a design I want to create. I'll pick this. This is an empty background. If for some reason I wanted my book next to these rocks, I, I don't really know. Mine doesn't go with rocks, but you get the idea. <laughs> I'm going to upload this transparent file I just made. When I do that, I'll be able to just, after it's done loading, drag it onto here and there won't be that white background. It will be my selected background. So this is a really cool way that you can add, um, that you can make new mockups using an old mockups template. And here it is. So I can make it bigger. I can make it smaller. I can rotate it if I wanted to. I can add some text. So this is a really good way to create your own social media graphics if you're on a budget and can't afford for somebody else to make them for you. You can also add different photos to backgrounds. So let's see. I believe, yep, I can replace the background here. Um, I can detach it from the background. Let's see. Is that image's background? And then let me put my book back over here. So I can make this cool looking little graphic here and then I can save and export this way or publish it to Facebook. Um, I usually just download things. I don't really like to do it that way, but this is a really easy way to make a ton of different 3D mockups for your book on a budget.